Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Tuesday is Election Day. I don't have to tell you that. You know that. Uh, but we're going to vote for candidates, and we're also going to focus on issues. And some of the business issues are the same issues that you and I are concerned about this Election Day. So with that, uh, let me tell you what the issues are. Here they are. Inflation, housing, workforce, energy, health care, and taxes, and there is more. Now, with me to talk about uh, these business priorities are my two guests, two leaders of the business communities in New Hampshire, uh, Wendy Hunt, uh, President and CEO of the Greater Nashua Chamber. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you. And Heather McGrail, who is uh, President and CEO of the Greater Manchester Chamber. Nice to have you. Thank both. you, Fred. Uh, both of your chambers have held debates among the major candidates for U.S. House, U.S. Senate, and Governor in the past few weeks. Um, of the, and by the way, uh, I was uh, able to be at a couple of those, so I know some of these issues that we're going to talk about. Both of your chambers had them, of the issues that they spoke to, the candidates, uh, and that we just put up on the screen, are there one or two that are of major concern to your members? Absolutely, the inflation, uh, the cost of goods, um, I think the main thing that we're hearing from our business members or it's across the board it doesn't it doesn't matter if you're a small business or a yeah. large corporation you're feeling the cost of energy you're feeling the cost of fuel mm -hmm. you're feeling um, supply chain costs and you're also feeling um, a workforce shortage Heather mm. I would second all of what just Wendy said but I think the other complicating factor is the intricacies in the workforce right now, which is adding additional pressure to employers. Yep. The salary expectations being so high, it really is an employee's market. And you have that compounded by all of the costs rising and employers are really struggling to make those ends meet. Did your chamber take a position on any of those issues that you just mentioned, Heather? Uh, we did not take a position on particular bills uh, related to this. Really, our model is to work with our government affairs partner mm -hmm. in the legislative session. So yep. when those come through, we will take stances on individual bills. Sam Wendy, do you? We do. And um, if the question was regarding um, the candidate series that both chambers had, we are nonpartisan at those events. Right. While we may take a position, um, typically a very pro-business position on issues up at the state house. Each of your businesses, uh, each of your chambers have businesses that are small and large. Um, these issues are impacting both, but probably differently, uh, Heather? Yes, I would say the issues are hitting every business of all sizes, but the small businesses are really forced with do I have to lay off an employee in order to afford my utilities? Yep. And that's a really difficult decision to make. I will say about the great resignation that I have seen that it looks more like it's going to be a great transformation. And mm -hmm. I, I wrote an article about this because I really think the long term is going to make employers of all sizes much more focused on the holistic employee mm -hmm. and the retention piece than mm -hmm. on the attraction. Yeah, Wendy? I would agree with that. Um, Pre-COVID, pre pre-pandemic, um, I think it was, you know, more just come to work, come to work, and now you do have to treat the whole employee. Um, they want that work-life balance yeah. that COVID has taught them. So they want the support. Finally, the legislature goes back in in January, and about one third of the state Senate is going to be new because of retirements, as you know. Uh, what issue are you going to be focused on at, at uh, in the legislature this session? Uh, when Definitely any tax issue that comes our way. Um, definitely any issue that gets between, or a type of legislation that gets between an employer and an employee. We don't want the government mandating the employee-employer relationship. Okay, Heather? I would, I would echo those statements and anything that we can do to help workforce. Uh, there's a lot of legislation that can really advocate for changes in our state to make workforce more accessible and more free-flowing for the employer and the employee. Well, my thanks to both of you, Wendy you. Hunt, uh, President and CEO of the Nashua Chamber, and Heather McGrail, President and CEO of the Greater Manchester Chamber.